Well, hello, Smoke and Joe here with Freestyle Flight Modes. A well done freestyle should demonstrate the full flight envelope of the aircraft. As such, the maneuvers flown should run the gamut from high speed precise maneuvers to slow post stall 3D maneuvers. To do this well, you have to run multiple rates on your surfaces. I'll show you the sample rates that I've used with success. You'll want to fine tune your plane to your style, but at least you have a starting point for a setup that you know works. Let's get to it. For freestyle, I run two flight modes. I'll call one the pattern mode and one the 3D mode. A flight mode is like a dual rate, but with the selection of one switch, you change the rates on all your primary surfaces. On the 10X, you can choose the switch, and I prefer the elevator rate switch, which you see in the upper left here. I can toggle this switch easily, and it leaves my right hand completely free. You're going to want to pick up a throw gauge. It'll be the best way to ensure that the ailerons start out matched right to left and up and down. You also want to match the elevator halves at the appropriate throws and through the entire range of motion. Okay, here's your low or pattern rate. Freeze this frame and make a note of these settings. For your precise elements, you'll fly this mode. Relatively low rates on rudder and elevator, but plenty for good snaps. This is the flight mode that will be used for slow and point rolls, snaps, rolling circles, rolling loops, and anything requiring ultimate precision. Okay, now for our 3D rates, you can see we've gone to maximum deflection, 45 degrees on all surfaces. The expo has increased in an effort to get a similar feel of the plane as our pattern rate with small stick deflections. This is the mode that will be selected for 3D maneuvers, including harriers, rolling harriers, walls, waterfalls, hovering, and anything requiring massive surface deflection. Here you see a comparison of the rudder maximum deflection when the flight mode switch is selected. Again, all three rates are set with one switch. Of course, if your radio doesn't support flight modes, you can change all three switches to match the setup. Here's Jason Noel at the shootout, showing you how it's done. This is motivating for me. That'll wrap it up for flight modes. So now with the circus setup series, you know how to dial in your gas setup, trim out your plane, and set the right rates. The only thing you need now is hours of practice, and you'll be ready to challenge the big names at the Masters or Tucson Shootout. Next installment, Smoke and Joe will show you how to come up with creative ways to zero your freestyle round at the next big event. Yeah. Uh -huh.